sacred spirit of life moving within us, among us, and between us. As ever, here we are on the forming edge of life. Here we are in process, held in the netting of life's truths and life's contradictions, living in the midst of the beautiful and the heartbreaking, the exceptional and the mundane, the prickly and the soothing. In this early March time, we approach the cusp of spring, that pause between snowy brightness and the green shoots of aliveness, the gap time when dormant plants and naked trees invite the question, will the turning really happen this year? Will the green, will the new, will it ever really come around again? And the years have taught us the practice of trusting that the turning is happening. In every moment, it's happening. We are in the midst of it always, the turning of the seasons, the turning of our lives, even when it seems impossibly slow or at a standstill altogether. And all we've got is tears of frustration and a catalog of failures. And the best we can muster is putting one foot in front of another. Doorways appear. Healing happens. Relationships deepen. New life emerges from the husk of loss. And the cycle of life deeply within us and around us, it continues to turn. In this sacred space this morning, we hold all those whose hearts are aching today. Everyone living with grief, with illness, fear, or regret. We hold with care all those around the world living in the midst of fear and violence. Everyone who is making a way out of no way we send our compassion out into the world. May all people, all living beings be free of suffering. May we all know peace and joy. One way we practice our covenant in this community is by sharing with each other the challenges and celebrations of our lives. So as I share the joys and sorrows of our congregation into this space, I invite you to type into the chat or into the comments, what is on your heart this morning so that we may hold it in the loving embrace of this community. This morning, our healing wishes are with Jean Patton as she recovers from surgery. Our love is with Karen Marcus as she recovers from COVID. Our hearts are with Steve and Nancy Tenbrink as they mourn the loss of Steve's brother, Alan Tenbrink. And alongside the grief, we turn our hearts also to joy, joy for the beauty of this day, for the people and the animals and the community that remind us in this life, we are not alone. We also hold in this place of honoring and prayer, celebration that the irises are coming up. We hold in our thoughts, Irene's dear neighbor, Bill Tosh, who passed away peacefully yesterday and who will be very much missed. We hold a cancer diagnosis we celebrate a happy birthday for Mo Mulroney, for grandson Will, who's turning 13. We're holding joy for a visit yesterday from great grandkids and their parents, a grandson and a granddaughter-in-law. And we hold grief for the loss of Bob Mollison, whose passing continues to impact this community. 
and celebration with Maggie who got engaged. Congratulations, Maggie. For each one of these joys and sorrows, we offer our witness. We hold you in comfort and in compassion. And in these days, may we feel surrounded by a sustaining grace, by a love that holds us and holds all. <laughs>